Investors in XRP are interested in knowing what the future holds for the cryptocurrency now ranked sixth by market capitalization, with the ongoing legal dispute between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, one of the most important aspects that might have a significant effect on its success. Welcome to XRP Insider, we provide the latest news of XRP Ripple. To stay updated with exciting news please do like share and subscribe to our channel. To know more please watch till the end. The SEC initiated legal action against Ripple Labs based on allegations that the company had offered unregistered securities in the form of XRP tokens. The lawsuit has continued for three years, with both parties submitting final filings and waiting for a decision. In this line, Thinbold asked industry professionals about whether Ripple could win the lawsuit against the SEC, and what it would mean for the price of XRP if it was successful. David Reicher told Finbold that other nations' regulators have ruled that crypto cannot be regarded as a security if there is no issuer. For this same reason, he noted. Ripple will likely prevail against the SEC claim Ripple must register its tokens like a security. Ripple has long held that investors have no investment contract that offers anybody any rights. Reicher notes a favorable conclusion would be beneficial to the entire crypto industry because it is necessary to offer clarity and confidence for the entire industry. It is essential for the whole of the industry to have a thorough understanding of any duties and regulatory expectations set out by the SEC, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, and any other financial compliance agencies. According to the attorney based in Florida, the result of the lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC is being eagerly awaited across the sector, with Pickett highlighting that. If Ripple is successful in their lawsuit, it could help solidify XRP's legality in the U.S. market, which would benefit its price. Elsewhere, he views the outcome as a fundamental setting, an important precedent applicable to other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, especially by leading financial institutions. This could open up the cryptocurrency industry to more mainstream investors and businesses that would have previously been cautious about entering the market due to legal uncertainty. Notably, if the regulator is successful in this case, it might have very negative repercussions for XRP, its investors, and the cryptocurrency sector as a whole. In particular, the regulatory body has the authority to levy a fine on Ripple Labs and demand that the business register XRP as a security. As a consequence, a judgment of this kind would certainly result in XRP being treated in the same manner as conventional securities, which may restrict both its adoption and usage. On the other hand, if Ripple is able to defend itself against the arguments presented by the SEC effectively, it may be considered a significant triumph for the firm as well as a favorable sentiment for XRP. Despite the fact that Ripple had some success during the hearings, the final result of the lawsuit is still unknown, which is very important to keep in mind. By press time, XRP was trading at $0.34, cents, recording daily losses of about 2.7%, with the asset having a total market worth of $17.1 billion. Only hours after XRP was relisted on BitMart, a major cryptocurrency exchange, trading volume has already reached and exceeded $600,000. As reported by you today earlier today, XRP was allowed to trade on BitMart again after the exchange delisted it in the summer of 2021 amid a legal battle between the SEC and Ripple. Nevertheless, XRP trading has not been restarted without restrictions after its second coming to the new old exchange, as you. S. Customers cannot trade the sixth largest crypto asset by capitalization. Such volumes on BitMart put the exchange right from the start in the top 20 in terms of XRP trading among all centralized crypto platforms. That said, there is only one trading pair, against USDT. Trading on centralized exchanges takes place mostly off-chain, in the form of orderbook recordings, so listing on a major exchange and the growing liquidity of XRP has not had much impact on XRPL's performance. At the same time, the number of XRP accounts on XRPL has surpassed the important 4.5 million mark. More importantly, only 1,012 of them are empty, with the rest holding XRP. That said, Activity on XRP Ledger is moderate, with the number of daily transactions holding steady at 1.2 million, according to data, but the number of new activated accounts has been dropping since mid-November. The Bitcoin, BTC, price and the Ethereum, ETH, price have very similar price action, but ETH is moving upward at a faster rate. The XRP price saved a breakdown from a crucial support area by creating a bullish candlestick on January 2. The BTC price has increased alongside an ascending support line since December 19. Throughout this upward movement, it is facing resistance at $16,950. When combined with the support line, this resistance area creates an ascending triangle, considered a bullish pattern. More recently, 
the area rejected the BTC price on January 4, red icon. If the BTC price successfully moves above this area, it could quickly jump to the 0.5 Fib retracement resistance at $17,345. On the other hand, a breakdown below the ascending support line could take the Bitcoin price back toward $16,000. Similarly to BTC, the ETH price has increased since December 16. However, the movement has been contained inside an ascending parallel channel, which is considered a bearish pattern. As a result, a breakdown from it would be the most likely scenario. Moreover, the Ethereum price was rejected by the channel's resistance line and the 0.618 Fib retracement resistance level on January 4, red icon. It decreased over the next 24 hours. As a result, a downward movement toward the channel's support line could occur. Earlier today, a heated exchange took place on Twitter between Ripple CTO David Schwartz and self-proclaimed Satoshi Craig Wright. At the heart of the debate is whether Wright has sufficient proof that he is indeed the anonymous inventor of Bitcoin. Wright claimed that a court case he's been involved in, Kleiman v. Wright, shows that he is Satoshi only to be countered by Schwartz. You are absolutely hilarious, Craig. Kleiman v. Wright shows that you are Satoshi precisely the same way Stombovsky v. Ackley shows that the house at 1 Lavetta Place in Nyack, New York is haunted, the Ripple executive said. This statement seemed to have struck a chord with Wright who fired back at Schwartz. The Australian computer scientist retorted back by pointing out how the Ripple CEO seems oblivious about certain details presented in the case. Wright then went on to reference copyright letters sent by him to American entities as proof of his identity as Satoshi Nakamoto. Again, Schwartz seemed unconvinced. These are yet more Craig lies. Kleiman v. Wright had nothing whatsoever to do with whether Craig could prove that he was Satoshi because both sides agreed that he was, he said. The public exchange raises another layer of intrigue in one of crypto's oldest questions, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Despite the fact that Bitcoin recently turned 14, this question remains unanswered. On Thursday, XRP slid by 2.80%. Reversing a 1.21% gain from Wednesday, XRP ended the day at $0.33807. Significantly, XRP ended the day at sub $0.34 for the first time in four sessions. Tracking the broader crypto market, XRP rose to an early morning high of $0.34832. Coming up short of the first major resistance level, R1, at $0.3523, XRP slid to a final hour low of $0.33385. XRP fell through the first major support level, S1, at $0.3429 and briefly through the second major support level, S2 at $0.3370 before a late partial recovery to end the day at $0.33807. There were no updates from the ongoing SEC v. Ripple case to distract investors from the U.S. economic calendar. U.S. economic indicators and the NASDAQ index sent XRP into reverse on Thursday. Ahead of today's U.S. jobs report, better-than-expected ADP non-farm employment change and jobless claim figures reignited Fed fear. Today, the market focus will shift to the U.S. jobs report that could allow the Fed to deliver another hawkish interest rate hike in December. However, while today's jobs report will have a material impact on the global financial markets, updates from the SEC v. Ripple case remain the key. Two pending court rulings could decide the outcome of the SEC v. Ripple case. Investors await a ruling on the SEC motion to redact content from the William Hinman speech-related documents, while the parties also await the court ruling on the summary judgment reply briefs. As background, former SEC Director of the Division of Corporation Finance William Hinman said that Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, are not securities. The contentious issue with the speech related to Hinman's connection with Simpson Thatcher, which is part of a group that promotes enterprise Ethereum. After leaving the SEC, Hinman returned to Simpson Thatcher. At the time of writing, XRP was up 0.69% to $0.34041. A mixed start to the day saw XRP fall to an early low of $0.33770 before rising to a high of $0.34041. XRP needs to avoid a fall through the $0.3401 pivot to target the first major resistance level, R1, at $0.3463 and the Thursday high of $0.34832. A return to $0.3450 would signal a bullish session. In the case of an extended rally, XRP would likely test the second major resistance level, R2, at $0.3546 and resistance at $0.36. Cents. The third major resistance level, R3, 
sits at $0.3690. A fall through the pivot would bring the first major support level, S1, at $0.3318 into play. However, barring an extended sell-off, XRP should avoid sub $0.3250. The second major support level, S2, at $0.3256 should limit the downside. The third major support level, S3, sits at $0.3111. Court rulings on the SEC v. Ripple case would remove the influence of the support and resistance levels. A lack of court rulings would leave US stats to influence. The EMAs and the 4-hourly candlestick chart, below, sent a bearish signal. At the time of writing, XRP sat below the 50-day EMA, currently at $0.34505. The 50-day EMA fell back from the 100-day EMA, with the 100-day EMA easing back from the 200-day EMA. The signals were bearish. A move through the 50-day EMA, $0.34505, would support a breakout from R1, $0.3463, to target the 100-day, $0.34951, and R2, $0.3546. However, failure to move through the 50-day EMA, $0.34505, would leave XRP under pressure. We would like to make it clear that this is not a platform designed expressly to offer financial advice, and we are not requesting that you invest in any particular business. This is just a route used to deliver instructional material to your door. See you again soon on XRP Insider, the leading source for cryptocurrency news.